Donald Trump has decided that this week is going to be a nostalgic trip back to the 1990s, specifically some of the conspiracy theories that dogged President Clinton during his administration. Uh, first, Donald Trump has brought up the theory that Vince Foster, uh, former White House counsel who committed suicide, uh, had actually been either killed by Bill or been killed and Bill covered it up. That basically somebody was hiding something about Vince Foster despite the fact that there were three investigations, all of which concluded that he committed suicide tragically. Trump called the circumstances surrounding Vince Foster's death very fishy and the lasting allegations of foul play in some circles very serious, at least as serious as Donald Trump himself, I think. Uh, so this is his direct quote. He had intimate knowledge of what was going on. He knew everything that was going on. Uh, there he's talking about Vince Foster. And then all of a sudden he committed suicide. I don't bring it up. I'm not, re like I want to be clear. He's saying he's not bringing it up as he is literally talking about it because I don't know enough to really discuss it, which is true. I will say that there are people who continue to bring it up because they think it was absolutely a murder. I don't do that because I don't think it's fair. <laughs> this is the oldest Trump trick in the book. Like, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. I will say that on the show. Don't you class you bring it up. Now let's right. talk about it. <laughs> yeah, like, I will say that ironically, tongue in cheek, yeah. right? Here, he's like literally saying, like, yeah. I'm not talking about Vince Mo Foster's murder. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I haven't said a word about it. Yeah. I, I think it might be a little unfair to talk about how some people believe it was absolutely murder. Yeah, it's the new version of the, I won't call Megyn Kelly a bimbo because that wouldn't be PC. But if I wanted to, I totally could. Uh, you know when- You called her a bimbo. <laughs> what? Murder was the case they gave me. That song <laughs> might have been about Vince Foster, but I haven't said anything. Maybe. I haven't said it. Vince Foster, I, who's he? I don't yeah. know. Right? Yeah, he's just he's just writing. He's just yeah. writing. Yeah. Uh, so that, first of all, is the Vince Foster situation, which, look, if you look into the details, and I had to uh, remind myself of what had gone on, because we're talking about, we're talking about decades ago that he's uh, going back. Uh, like, the guy gets to D.C. and apparently is so sickened by how much people basically just tear each other apart and don't try to accomplish anything, uh, that he fell into a deep depression, uh, which he tried to treat very briefly and then committed suicide. And it's a tragedy no matter what happened, but probably what happened is not that Bill Clinton murdered him for reasons that nobody has ever made clear to me, but they continue to believe is the case. And this is not like, this isn't Rush Limbaugh, this isn't Glenn Beck, who by the way mocked Trump for bringing this up. This is the candidate for the Republican Party for the presidency saying that Bill Clinton, probably a murderer. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. No, no, the, the level of this insanity is unprecedented. I, I remember I was way back in the beginning of my career when I was in Washington, D.C., uh, over 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I used to go on this a cable news outlet, which, by the way, was pre-Fox News and was run by, of all people, Roger Ailes, and you, who now runs Fox News. And, and you, every funny. once in a while they would have ads for Vince Foster's murder, and at the time I was a young Republican, and I thought I don't think I should come on the station anymore. <laughs> like this is the only this break I've ever gotten in media, and I probably shouldn't be on here because these guys are nuts. Yeah, there's no, I mean, only the most fringe of the fringe lunatics thought that the that the Clintons worked with the Bilderbergs and the Lizard People to kill Vince Foster. Yeah, like this was previously unimaginable to be brought up in 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 normal. You know, discourse in a presidential race. If a surrogate of a surrogate had brought it up in 2012 in the last election mm -hmm. cycle, let alone anything else, he would have been fired immediately. Yeah. But there are no bounds with Donald Trump. The yeah. guy is just totally. And, and you know, but part of it is that by ripping up the playbook, it has served him well. And he's like, wait, why did we have bounds? Because the press would yell at me. I don't Apparently care. Apparently, they wouldn't. I'm going to get a certain percentage of of not just Republicans but independents. Who are gullible and it's who are people. easily, uh, you know, manipulated? And Trump would know a thing or two about manipulating people. That's his whole career, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get to put a little doubt in their mind. Yeah, it's it's what like defense attorneys would do. Yeah, uh, Bill Clinton may uh, probably he didn't murder Vince Foster, but what if he did? But what if he did? Okay. And, and we have to recognize that that thanks to how crazy this election has been, this is at most the third craziest conspiracy theory. It's slightly more likely than that Ted Cruz's father killed JFK or that the pyramids were made to store grain. But those are theories put forward by Donald Trump and Ben Carson, uh, the two people, the only two people that led during the, the Republican primary. So we've got the Vince Foster murder, but that's not the only thing. Bill Clinton, apparently not just a murderer, uh, also a rapist. Um, th there's actually more to back this up. But 
uh, Donald Trump released an Instagram ad, and we're going to show it to you. And in this ad, he references, he shows audio or plays audio from Kathleen Willey and Juanita Broderick, uh, two of the women who have accused Bill Clinton of various sexual assault charges and things of that sort. And here is the Instagram ad. He's very nervous. No woman should be subjected to it. But it you... was an assault. He starts to uh, bite on my top there, and I try to pull away from him. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. That's an insane ad. I mean, Wait. look, God, well, who knows exactly what happened, and it doesn't sound good. And generally, you, you, you want to believe uh, when a person says that they've been sexually assaulted. But the, the black and white fading of the weird picture of him with the cigar, the weird laughing, and then he, like, gladly puts his name on it. Uh, here's a devastating conclusion I have. It's going to work. So now let me explain why. First, let me be super clear. It shouldn't work. It's terrible. It's hideous. Uh, and one of those uh, it, audio that you heard from one of the women was from Sean Hannity's program. Take that with any kind of grain of salt you like, right? Uh, and and these uh, Republicans have been using these women to attack the Clintons for at least 20 years, but longer. Mm -hmm. One of the guys who used to uh, do that is David Brock, who now ironically runs Hillary Clinton's attack team. And it runs one of her super PACs. Yeah. He's one of the guys who used to be the hatchet man against the Clintons. So he knows how this uh, game is played. And so the Republicans have been playing this game for a long time. So now, um, why am I afraid that it is going to work? Um, he, here's the three reasons why he's doing it. Obviously, the damage Hillary Clinton, you know, she's got unfavorables. He wants to drive those unfavorables mm -hmm. up uh, and to match his own because he's the only candidate ever to run for president. With higher unfavorables than Hillary Clinton, yeah. she's number two in history, right? As long as they've been doing polling, uh, okay, that part's super obvious. Okay, now the second parts that the, the other two that might not be as obvious. Uh, one, it is to eliminate Bill Clinton. He does mm -hmm. not want Bill Clinton on the campaign trail mm -hmm. because Bill Clinton is great on the campaign trail, and Bill Clinton had a, a an economic r record that he could point to and say, "Here's 22 million jobs created. Here's how I, I got." eliminated the deficit I handed off a surplus here you know he has got a great case to make and this is a preemptive attack to try to eliminate him and to get the Clintons to say oh we don't we don't want Bill on the campaign trail yeah and to and to pull him do not make that mistake I mean do not play defense against this guy yeah. what you gotta do against Donald Trump is play offense okay yeah. you gotta attack him the, the Clintons should have an ad twice as devastating against Donald Trump oh you don't want to get in the mud yeah 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 the other 16 Republicans didn't want to get in the mud, and where are they now? They're, they're in their backyard. And she's saying that she's going to sort of go hands off. Right it now, weird. she's weird. It doesn't even seem like her style. She says she's they, they, they're going to decline to respond to the attacks. Terrible idea. Yeah. No, no, no. Go on the offensive. I don't. I'm not saying that she, they have to get into the nitty gritty of these details and play defense on that. No, you should just smear him for what he actually is. Not smear him. Say the, the guy is a conspiracy theorist, and he, this is the. Well, a borderline psychotic person who we should consider uh, locking up in a state as mental health institution. He's a crazy person. Okay. And, and also, I mean, you can you can talk about he's a conspiracy theorist because he's literally peddling conspiracy theorists. There's also a ton of evidence going back something like four decades that he has had business ties with the mafia. Start talking about that. How about this? He has been accused by multiple women of raping them. So it seems a bit ballsy of him that he's going to be attacking Bill Clinton, who's not even in the race as a rapist, when he is, according to women from his history, also a rapist. Okay, Put but that in an ad. But John, he knows that they won't go as low as him, right? And part of, part of what he's doing is now neutralizing that attack against himself. He's saying, hey, you want to play that card? Well, I'm going to keep saying that your husband raped somebody. Well, then at least neutralize it. Everybody involved in the race is in some way a rapist. No, but don't this do that. But don't, that. See, but that's what I'm talking about. See, that's Donald Trump winning. <laughs> that he just got to call it even, and it ain't even, right? Uh -huh. So now point number four is actually the most hidden, but perhaps the most damaging. The reason the laugh is in there is because it's to yeah. lower her numbers among women. Yes. So to say, oh, he did all this stuff Bill Clinton did to women, while Hillary Clinton uh, looked the other way or laughed about it. And so this is the strategy that Republicans use against Wendy Davis in Texas. Not exactly, right, because it, there were no charges against her husband. Mm -hmm. But they attacked her on her strength, which is she pulled well with women. 
and they ripped her down among women by yeah. saying, oh, she went to go get a fancy education and left her kids behind, etc. And they're going to go after Hillary Clinton's strength, which is in women. Okay, Right now she's getting killed among men. If she loses women at all, if she loses any of her strength in women, she's in a ton of trouble. Mm. So as hideous as this ad is and these two attacks against Bill Clinton, unfortunately, politically, they're fairly savvy. And if the Clinton team doesn't mount up right now and get to attacking, they, 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 he is going to establish this, uh, these talking points yeah. and this idea in the heads of the American people before they know what hit him. Yeah, and, and the if they say, and don't, by the way, don't make any excuses about, oh no, but Bernie Sanders is still in the race. Hillary Clinton has said a thousand times on TV, I'm already done with him, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I've already won, I'm moving on. Then, okay, then if you actually believe that, move on. Look, I. Forget the Bernie Sanders Hillary Clinton race just for a second on this issue, okay? It's not over, but that's a whole separate conversation. But if you want to, if you really think you're the nominee and you think you're going against Trump, you have to counterattack immediately.